in the previous section we have seen the neural network classification and now we are going to in the part 2 we are perform setup loss function and optimizer so once we have created the model which consists two inputs five neurons in the input in the uh, middle uh, layers five output of that layers neurons and then one output as a final output so now we will set up loss function and optimizer here so i am going to print untrained predictions so uh, what's the untrained prediction so i am going to perform model and underscore zero this is my model name and inside this model i am going to check x underscore test and it's going to perform that device in case in my case it's a, a cpu you might have gpu also so then i'm going to print the uh, the shape of my in my print so what's the length of my so this is the length of untrained predictions value all right and then also i can find print length of untrained prediction and what's the shape of this unprint uh, value all right so i'm going to hit rent you can see 200 is the value and shape is 2 here so x test is having two input features therefore it's having two shapes all right so similarly we can have the print and then y underscore test and then we can have colon and then 10 all right so this is the prediction value where we can have the total predictions and the complete first 10 predictions right so in order to train the means uh, like suppose i want to print untrained predictions and this is going to print first 10 value so you can see this is the first 10 value so minus 0.612 and this one so this is according to this is actual value and this is my predicted value so according to this we can have the untrained value and untrained predictions but we want to have the complete number so there is same amount of predictions in the test label and but prediction don't look predictions don't look like they are in the same shapes and the same format so for that we will use loss function and optimizer we are having so many loss optimizer functions like few are given here like sgd loss function that is stochastic gradient descent it is used for classification regression and many others then we can have the other optimization function that is named namely adam optimization along with this we this is used for classification again apart from this we can have binary cross entropy loss and then cross entropy function so we can have the uh, mean is absolute error uh, mean absolute error or sometimes it is called l1 loss all right so one more kind of uh, loss functions and optimizers are there that is called mean square error that is acronym for mse or l2 loss but last two are used basically used for regression not the uh, classification or the multi-classification but cross entropy is specifically used for multi-classification so in the given 
given format we can have the another functions name in the torch and another uh, loss function that measures the binary cross entropy and the in between the targets and so on so now we are going to apart from these functions we are going to calculate loss function there i am going to create so first we are going to have b b c e and with logistic log this this log log its log its loss and it's a bc with sigmoid built in it's come it consists the sigmoid function and it's having the basic uh, uh, like uh, uh, what are the different values uh, binary cross entropy bc stands for binary cross entropy and it is used for binary classification basically so we are using binary classification and log stands for so it stands for sigmoid function because sigmoid is consisting e raised to power function e raised to power x function the so bce loss is for uh, no sigmoid but bc log its loss means with sigmoid function so we are going to create that optimization now i am going to create optimizer function So optimizer is the another keyword. So inside this optimizer is equal to torch dot o p t i s m of t i m dot s g d optimizer and then give the parameters p e r a m s parameter for my model. So I'll give the model name. That's a model underscore zero, and then give the parameters, and then give the parameters comma learning rate. So what is the learning rate here? I am going to give 0.5 as of now. So it is going to perform the SGD and the logistic function here. So a model, what's the my model name? This might be different. Okay, so model underscore zero. <laughs> okay, so it's having parameters. All right, so the spelling was wrong, but my parameters is already consisting in the my model zero. So then we are going to create evaluation matrix. Evaluation can be used for different segment and different purpose to check the accuracy evaluation matrix all right so it can be used for offers another perspective how your model is going uh, if a loss function measures how wrong model is uh, it, it 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 is going to able to think of evaluation matrix as measuring how wrong it is and you can add, let's start with the accuracy let's say it's having 99 percent and different different accuracy so i'm going to create that function different accuracy underscore function so my accuracy function is defined here so for this i'll use f true so exact value and f prediction what's the predicting predicted by my neural network architecture and then going to correct t o r c h torch dot equation what's my equation and then y true what's the y true it's the actual value given my data set and then y underscore prediction and then going to sum of this value and then going to perform the item so how many items are there so it's a going to calculate where two integers two tensors are equal or having the different numbers so then i'll use the accuracy so how to correct 
calculate the correct accuracy i'll use accuracy divide by correct and then length this is the equation and this is perform this means this divide minus this and dot sum and then perform the values and then going to per perform y prediction all right then let's take 100 all right finally i'll return my accuracy function so that's it we have created the law accuracy function so it's going to perform the training or model to measure its performance and the loss function all right then after this we are going to create we are going to train our model all right so how to train model so using torch so we will have uh, means training loop we will have loss function optimization and raw model will uh, model outputs to the predict labels and how to probabilities and how the different sections and how different uh, uh, means outputs are going to perf going to evaluate forward pass on the test data so for this we will use y underscore y underscore l o g i log eights and then we have model name model underscore zero and then pass x underscore test dot two then device and then give the first five value and then i'm going to print that variable name here so you can see this is the uh, this is the x test value what is the uh, first output and the test value our model has not trained yet so basically this this uh, output is basically randomly given here and we can have the per, 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 given the forward method so we can have the linear model also so then we will use nn dot linear which create the weights and bias and the outputs and the other models are going to linear performs as well so if we, if you are going to use sigmoid function then how we can use we can use y underscore prediction underscore prop props is equal to torch dot sigmoid and then we are going to use underscore log it is log it's right then i'm going to copy that and then hit run you can see now my function is quite means now i output is quite uh, quite uh, positive one and they don't have any uh, any uh, any negative value right because sigmoid just avoid the uh, particular value and we have prediction probability and we we are going to use the values that are now how much the mo model thinks the data points to belong to one class or to the another the output might be o and one so if prediction so if prediction underscore if y prediction underscore is greater than equal to 0 0.5 then it's belonging to 0 y is equal to 1 all right so it's having class 1 all right but c but v so if it is having less than 0.5 so it's having y is equal to 0 and class is equal to 0 so i'm going to have second class right so how to perform that 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 part so we are going to perform the prediction label and then y underscore predictions and going to perform torch dot round random functions and then give the y underscore prediction underscore probabilities 
so in in this case we are going to perform y predictions underscore labels is equal to torch dot round and then torch dot sigmoid i'm going to give the sigmoid function there and then torch sigmoid and inside this sigmoid i'm going to pass my model underscore zero and then give the x test and then pass my device name and then give the first five value there all right so then we are going to check the equality so how to perform the equality value i'm going to print that torch torch dot equation and then we are y underscore predictions dot sq u e we are going to excuse our function and then going to perform y underscore predictions underscore labels dot sq u squeeze and then give the excuse function so it give the y underscore predictions and then squeeze to get the dimension right so you can see the y underscore b predictions okay so we can see true 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 all values are true but the outer values are not everything not matching the so third value is not matching and fourth value is not matching which means uh, our model prediction is quite different and it's having the truth value and uh, uh, in the slighted um, way so i'm going to test that value and give that five and going to test one zero one this is the able to compare our models prediction to the test model okay then we can convert it our model to the raw model log it is and predict two prediction probabilities using a sigmoid activation function then we are going to convert into the prediction probabilities to perform the sigmoid values all right so for this we are having the second step that is next we are having building a training and testing model so i'm going to create cut that part and then just hit enter so this part we will see in the next video as of now we have con constructed the data processing part pre-processing part thank you